everyone. My banana mode here. And if you haven't already noticed, I've gotten a few upgrades to my suit. Quite namely, these gorgeous eyes. These are brand new eyes. And everything about them is new. Got new lenses, new backing, and new eye uh, eyelids. Yes! All new! So, if you thought my eyes were mesmerizing before, just look at them now. They're still metallic, so they still got that shine to them. It's the same paint. Same design. Just brand new! And oh gosh, I love them so much! It's just so pretty. And if you're wondering, they distort my vision very, very slightly. Because I wear my glasses in suit, if you didn't already know this. And it's seeing out of these with my glasses on is pretty much just like seeing out of an, old, an older pair of glasses. So, very, very slightly blurry and just a little distorted if you, I look out of them the wrong way. But I'm so happy with them. They're so pretty. And I know a bunch of you are going to ask, so I'm just going to tell you here. They are just two halves to clear um, plastic Christmas orb. Christmas ornament. You know, the kind that you get and put like little, little fake snow in or whatever. I just took one of those, took it in half, put it in my eyes. Ta-da! New eyes! And it works very well for my style because my style has quite round eyes. As you can see, I love the round eyes. Just looks more feral. Because I like feral looks to things. And another upgrade I got, if you hadn't noticed, is... I upgraded my paws to cheater paws! Ah! My human is showing! I've got weird worms coming out of my paws. Okay, I won't be wearing these for many videos like this. Same paws, I just cut holes in them so I can cheat, per se. Use my hands like they're out of suit, only in suit. I did this because my idea was to do a little bit of flag work in my dance routine for the con that I'm going to Anthro Weekend Utah, which is very exciting. I, I still had yet need time to figure all that out, figure out how much flag I want in it and what move and stuff like that, because it's still hard to do, just easier to do with my fingers. Also looks cooler. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing my collar, which I always forget to put on, but I remembered this time, so I got all my noise. The jingles and the purr. Cause I purr, if you had noticed, with me moving my head all around. Yeah. And another upgrade that I've made to Muffin that you cannot tell through video is that I now smell like, like mulberries. I smell delicious! <laughs> so I made up a fursuit spray for me that smells like mulberries and it smells great. And I put a little bit of the mulberry scent just on the tip of my nose right here. So. If you ever see me in person, smell my nose. It smells wonderful. <laughs> it also fits with like the color of my eyes and I really wanted to do blueberry because you know, blueberry muffins are delicious. But I couldn't find any blueberry. So I settled for mulberry. I mean, a mulberry muffin could be delicious too. And it kind of smells like blueberries in a way just to Sweeter blueberry, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna try and go to more cons. I just can't really afford much. So, so if all goes well, I'll be going to Anthrocon next year so more of you can see me in real life. Yeah, that would be fun. Of course, I am going to Anthro Week in Utah, which is a woo in Utah, obviously, in Salt Lake. I live in Utah, so it, it's amazing. <laughs> and because it's a brand new con, it's going to be smaller, which I think is a good idea for my first con. Because I'm not very good with people. I'd much rather be sitting in front of a screen, talking to a camera, like this. I can do whatever I want and nobody judges me until after I do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, it'll be fun. I sure hope so. My very first convention. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh yes, and another thing, this isn't really an upgrade, but I've repaired my suit! Oh shoot, there's another hole there. I've repaired my suit! Okay, I need to like add a little extra fur to the armpits, because I keep tearing holes in my suit. Oh well. And also, no crotch hole! No embarrassing one! I can go like this, and it's like, oh yeah, that's right! Because I'm... I'm a good suit and this is pretty and just pretty and pretty. I'm so pretty, aren't I? I really need to do more videos, but but I'm just running out of ideas. I can only make a channel off of look how cute I am for so long. But but I am nearing a thousand subscribers, and that is just amazing. I never really thought I'd get this many subscribers. It's just, wow, how? I, I just made my YouTube channel pretty much just to, um, just to like show off to customers because they're like, Oh, well, how does this tail look like when you're walking? Then I'm like, okay, I guess I need to make a YouTube channel and show you. <laughs> and also, I just used it to um, keep track of my progress on Amy 1.0 because I didn't really know what I was doing, so I needed to track it all throughout and make sure it looked good when I was walking. <laughs> I mean, you can look down my channel to the original videos and see how horrible that went. Oh man, you can look, watch them, but they are not very good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, oh, it's ugly, but just watch Amy 2.0. She's so much better than 1.0. So much better. And... Even, even now, I'm going to make her a new head already, because her head is not accurate! The eyes are too far apart, so I have to remake the head. Hopefully, I can still reuse the fur on the head, because I've spent, like, so much money on supplies on her. Over, over 1500 probably close to $2,000 just on supplies for that one suit. Of course, that's between 1.0 and 2.0 because I used um, a lot of the same materials on 2.0, so I'm just counting it all together. And holy cow, she's my most expensive suit. That is 100% for sure. <laughs> but she's gorgeous! I need to do more videos with her. It's just hard because I can't really get in her by myself like I can with Muffin. But, but I have a friend and a customer <laughs> who's going to help me make more videos in the future. And maybe like next month or so, he'll help me do a suit up video of her. And we'll do like this epic video of her like just walking outside so you can see her in natural light. 
And we'll probably add like Okami music into it. It's like, what? This this stepped right out of the video game. It's amazing. Yeah, Amy's from a video game, if you didn't know, called Okami. My favorite video game in the whole world. It's amazing. Also, I don't exactly know when it is, but I also plan to on going to Salt Lake Comic Con. And because I don't think Comic Con has a cosplay contest in it, Amy will not be there. It's just too much of a hassle to bring her if I'm not taking her to a competition. So, Muffin will be coming! Oh, and then... Then if any of you are there, you can recognize me and just come up and hug me. You don't even have to ask. As long as you don't strangle me, you can hug me. You do not have to ask. I'm okay with strangers hugging me in suit. Out of suit, ask to hug me. In suit, you don't need to ask as long as you don't kill me. I'm not very fragile, except the eyes. Keep in mind of the eyes. I don't want them to get scratched. Horns, they're okay. I mean, <laughs> there was one time where I was playing with a dog and she ripped off my horn. It's just like, yeah, I'll just glue it back on and I still love her. I still <laughs> play with her in suit. She's so cute. And yeah, yeah, nothing else on my suit is fragile. The ears, I mean, don't yank on them, but they're on there pretty good. The tail, I prefer you not yank on it, but it's on there pretty good. I am, I am the maker, so any damages to my suit is forgivable because I can just fix it. I don't have to pay anyone to fix it. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm okay with going out and muffin. The only thing I'm not really okay with is children. I know this is such rambly video now, but... I don't really like suiting around children. I know there's a lot of people that do, and, you know, more power to them. I'm just afraid they're gonna kill me. And, I swear, they are all trying to break the magic on me. It's like, I can see you through the mouth. So what? I'm a, I'm a cute little dragon. Just let me be a cute little dragon. Ah, <sighs> children. Either that or they're terrified of me. I mean... It makes sense. My eyes can be a little creepy to a child that doesn't know what's going on. It makes sense, because I have, well, I kind of have pupils, but I don't really have pupils. It's, so it's kind of creepy. But, yeah. For the most part, I'm looking forward to taking them up into cons. But right now, it's just those two I've got planned. Just... Anthro Week in Utah and Comic Con. And yeah. Yeah, it should be fun. With Anthro Week in Utah, I'm going with my boyfriend and another friend and another friend. But with Comic Con, I'm going with my brother and his friends. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be more sociable at Anthro Week in Utah. Just because I know it's all furries and I'm not afraid of hate. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you ever see me in person, come hug me. I don't, I, I don't care who you are. Just, just come hug me. As long as you're not dirty and you're not going to kill me. Okay? Okay. But if you are clean and if you just hug me like a normal person... Feel free to hug me. And, um, about 15 minutes now, so <laughs> I should probably quit the, my ramblings. I don't have my vest on or my fan on, so I'm not very, I'm kind of, kind of hot in here. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So just, I don't know, I'm not wearing clothes, I'm a... I'm a dragon. Dragons don't need clothes. I'm wearing a collar. So take off all your collars. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little weird. 
I'll be the first to admit that. <gasps> okay, well that brings to, brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my random ramblings. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!